Anything before we get on to our pre-folders? No additional comments. Thank you, Madam Chair. County Council, do you have anything before we go on to the pre-folders? Okay, thank you. I will move on to Creole de Granada. As always, well, I'm President of Elizabeth. I know how important our parks are for you, whether they're used for leisure or organized activity sports. Yes. They play a vital role in the lives of our residents. As plenty of also. Okay. As such, I'm always excited and proud whenever I see a renovation or improvement within our parks, within the whole entire UD town. So I would like to take a moment to invite everyone, even people from the property, to join my colleagues and me for the vermin cutting and dedication of the new turf field at Phil Rizzuto Park this Saturday, October 12th at 11 a.m. This new turf field will enable Union County residents to use the field year-round for soccer, football, and other sports. Some people may get breast cancer without experiencing 
as a rest camp to survive on myself, I ask that you make sure that you get screened regularly. If money is an issue, you can ask your health care provider about free screening that are available to those who qualify due to financial needs. Thank you. Thank you. Behold Mayor Bella. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Just a couple of quick comments on the Columbus Day activities that are happening uh, this weekend. Um, tomorrow, we'll have the Columbus Day uh, flag raising and courthouse steps. And the training will be indoors. Uh, starts at 1.30. And Sunday, at Amici's, there is a uh, gathering of the Columbus Parade Association in celebration of uh, the Columbus's 521st anniversary. And uh, that's in Linden, and that's a great time uh, for everyone. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. Over the last week, um, workers at both Merck and Summit and Alpha Cell Lucid in the province received unfortunate news of layoffs. Our hearts go out to any affected workers facing any impending layoff. The County of Union is also here to help those employees. I've instructed our Human Services Director, Frank Uzzo, to communicate with the State Department of Labor and to work with them to get any needed services and support to those impacted. Also, we have our one stops in Elizabeth and in Plainfield with providing counseling, unemployment, and reemployment services. Anyone seeking more information on these services can visit our webpage at www.ucnj.org. I'd like to give everyone a reminder that this coming Wednesday, October the 16th, is the special election to replace U.S. Senator Frank Lautenberg. And I'd like to take this opportunity to remind all registered voters to please come out and vote. If you have not yet registered to vote for the regular election in November, you still have time. The deadline for registration is Tuesday, October the 15th. If you have any questions about the upcoming elections, please visit the county clerks online at ucnj.org or you can call their office at 908-527-4996. Also, I would like to mention that tomorrow there will be a dedication ceremony for the new Jack and Margaret Myers Senior Residence in Rawway. The county has contributed $940,000 in funding for this project, which helps to ensure that low-income seniors in Union County can be assured of a comfortable, affordable place to call home. 